Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. Kaiser against Belarus. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, I'm taking back the territory that we ended up losing to the British. Because they, they renavally invaded our territory in, uh, in Scotland. Which, I mean, it's a little bit in the way. Don't get me wrong. But I can take Roslith. They should then be out of supplies. That would be nice, right? We, we can all agree that that would be cool. We have four more divisions moving our way in. Hold position for a second. We can take Norwich. I don't think Norwich would be enough. You're worth two. You're worth five. I mean, if you're going to attack into Cambridge. As we get more units to land here. Your organization should begin to dwindle a little bit. We actually see Canadian forces trying to land here as well. Even though I think the Canadians could theoretically come into these areas as well. Because we have shared military access. But you know what? Don't let me... Uh... Oh, no. The Canadians have landed. They're in Cardiff. Oh, excellent. The Canadians actually have done something. Absolutely incredible. Argentina almost lost an entire division due to uh, naval invasion shenanigans. But that's to be expected. But why do we not have military access through you? There we go. I'm not too sure why that even happened. Okay, let's go take Roslith. Move our units up north. Take back the cities that we lost. Take back our ports. And don't allow this humiliation to happen a second time. I'm gonna keep spamming this button. Hey, yes, right, died. It took them long enough. Again, just hold your position, men. Actually, I'm going to stretch this line out like this. There's no reason for this. You two should be here. That's only 13 divisions, though. We have one here, five there. Oh, there's troops on this line. No, be, be here, please. So, you know, so Britain is down to 47%. We do, I think, need... You guys might be like sacrificial lambs. And I apologize that is going to be your fate, but not really too much I could have done about that. Bring forces together. You guys. Hull is worth 10, which is not bad. Yeah, we're getting this territory to the Canadians. Whatever. It's not like it actually matters that much. We have four more days. Again, I'm going to keep spamming that button when we can. Can actually assign this to a control group. I don't think I've ever made control groups in Hoi 4 before. Yeah, it doesn't actually, I don't think it says anywhere that you made into a control group, but there we go. We can just check this periodically. We have four days until that time runs out. Delete this. I'm going to keep one division in Roslith. Again, just to make sure they don't renavally invade the north, which I don't think they'll do, but just in case. Infiltration assault, get that going. And we do see the Germans are now beginning to push in. Do you not have military access through? You do. Actually, I don't see anybody here. Let's go. It's not, I don't think it's going to be a surround. But it'll be pretty close to being a surround. Okay, Puerto Rico's ended up falling. Your four hour spam click. There we go. Secure this position. You're, again, what you're mostly doing is just distracting British forces so I can push el elsewhere. Okay, Hawaii's and hostilities. Did I lose a unit? Yeah, one of my units I think actually got killed. Not because you aren't very aggressive. Okay, hold your position, hold your position. You guys hold your position as well. I'm going to take you out of the north because it looks like we have allies guarding that position. Move all of our units down south. We're trying, man. We're, we're trying our best. What, how do we how do we lose that fight? Okay, 
97, 98. Okay, we're going to push in. Again, it, it's really the race for London. Can I give you any defending stats? Scavenger. Sure. No, never mind. I don't have any points for that. Do you cost... How many points do you cost again? 17? Well, guess what? If I just split you into smaller armies... Then we can last... Then we can last stand for cheaper. We beat the system. I don't know if taking London would be enough to... Win the war here. And again, Purple Army will probably end up dying in a second, but that's okay. And as long as you're distracting troops... Oh, we actually took Oxford as well. Again, whole position. Push away to London, lads. I believe in you. Also, Control Group 1 actually gets both of these guys now, which is a little bit annoying, but... I mean, kind of to be expected. Is there anyone else moving their way to London? Not that we can see. London has fallen. Union of Britain is now down to 23%. So move positions here immediately. You're still last standing. You can probably also last stand. Do it. Cambridge is worth 5. Bristol is worth 5. Cornwall's worth 10. We only need we need 3%, right? Only 3%. Hull is worth 10 as well. Nottingham? Worth 2. Dover's worth 10. You know what? Let's try to push away to Dover. Portsmouth is also worth 10. Well, Gator, you join the right pack. I mean, that's nice. Better late than never, I suppose. Oxford, I mean, it's worth 5 as well. I want to keep this. Can't do anything right now, unfortunately. We need more command power. We're not gaining it fast enough. These units may die, but again, it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. I kind of need you guys, actually, to push away south. Never mind, that led to you getting killed. I think we could take... Okay, these units... Congratulations, it's Operation Get the Hell Out of There. Three dockyards. I guess we'll keep trying to build this stuff. Upgrade light tanks, light tank two. I mean, we can assist in the assault in Nottingham. I see no reason at the moment to, re to say no to that. I don't know if you have enough convoys for this. Purple or No, because you're still on last stand for two more days. Okay. Next, I'm going to send you down and around. Okay, we actually see there are troops in uh, Portsmouth. Oh, also do not, do not scroll over there. Be five. C Britain, you're so... Britain, you know that you're dead, right? You've got to know that you're dead. You're at 23%. Just admit it. Just admit that you've lost, okay? You're not in circle, but you're close to it. we have any more units we can bring in? Not really. Bristol is worth five. What are we? Are we still at 23%? I believe so. Yes. What do we do with that information? I mean, we can maybe try to strike at Cambridge. It's worth five victory, or five war score. God, of course you're at exactly 20%. Yeah, hackers. Okay, the SRI has fallen. I'm trying to remember who took what. Because I want to make this equitable. Um... Let's start with the Italian Federation. I know... I mean, I guess actually the game kind of tells me, right? It thinks that you took over these areas. And you know what? There you go. You can have that land. Next up on the list is whoever I see next. Which is... I think even down here? 
No. Sardinia. It thinks you've taken over this, apparently that's actually too much. Sardinia, you can have that land, make Sardinia Piedmont. And then two Sicilies, which is right here. You can get uh, this territory. I mean, you're not in the faction. You should join it. Or maybe two Sicilies and you can unite. I don't know. Also, France is about to collapse. Maybe this will be the end last episode. I mean, it's not impossible. It just requires, like, one more British city to fall. Right? Just one more. One more beautiful, beautiful city. Because we're at exactly 20%. So I believe with Cambridge... There we go. The British have finally decided, hey, you know what? Maybe this whole uh, situation is not for us. We were troops of Portsmouth. Blue Army, prepare for a naval invasion into uh, these northern territories. Purple Army, we're going to send one into this army. And let's put all of you into blue for now. I mean, the commune of France, they're, they're close to dying. And again, the situation with Japan, it's never going to resolve itself. Um, yeah, because like, we're never going to get Nail Superiority over here. Which is a shame. But, and again, what, if you have literally no navy for yourself, I can't even put like one ship in the area and hope that for a second the AI is like, you know what, we're not going to defend our coast for like a day or an hour. And like, what are you going to do? Send more troops in this? No, you're not going to do that. That would be ridiculous. All we can really hope for would be if Japan was to go to war with the Qing. Which is not impossible if they do bad enough against, uh, if any government does bad enough against the Qing to draw them in. But that's basically about it. Okay, Paris has fallen. So yeah, I mean, it's the beginning of the end for sure. 55%. Recon Company 3. Um, do we have, we have, do we have any more of these left to do? Nah, nah, you're, you're filled out. Um, again, like, what do you research when you've already, like, won the game? And it looks like you are on your way to being course. Goldman still got another month. But Belarus. Uh, you know, I would say the secure position in the world. We have taken significant casualties. Way more than I would have liked in any other circumstance. Coming to France. Apparently is pieced out with the Italian Federation. I'm really not even too sure why. I'm not even too sure we'll even get troops to land in Europe fast enough. How many days are you on? Ten? I'm going to try sending just one infantry over and see what happens. Maybe they'll succeed. Maybe just land straight into the city. It'll be nice. Don't get me wrong. Because you're halfway dead right now. And we actually are going to land, you know, in this beautiful city. I mean, we want, I think, what's your current capital? Uh, it is currently, I actually have no idea what your, okay, it's in Lyon. Lyon is a 25 victory point city, so it would be nice for us to take that when we can. I'm actually going to force attack you to make sure we can hopefully land in this city. Did you last stand, you motherfucker? I mean, it's, it's a smart maneuver for sure. But you're a real son of a bitch. You know that? You're, re you're a real son of a gun. Okay. Uh, land and call. You now got another troop here. I mean, maybe we just send our unit. Maybe you just take La Harve and we just move our units in. You know what? Yeah. Green army. You should just... Just, let's make your way over the strait. If we can land here, that'd be nice, but I'm not going to expect it or anything like that. It's still 11.5. Green arm, your job is going to be pushed away straight up the breast. Yeah, the, the commune's days are, what I would say, are numbered. Yeah, sure, why not? 1945 recon companies? Hell yeah. Paul is worth one victory point. You're worth, I mean, you're only worth three. I thought you were actually worth like five at least. I'm actually gonna see if we're gonna, gonna don't go to call. 
Land your way here. Maybe you can get something done. I don't know. I think you last landed twice. Clever bastard. Okay, get me out of here. Okay, we see actually there is nobody in Brest. So we can take it over, land five divisions. And we'll be looking pretty good. Yeah, I think it must be very aggressive. Because again, like, the, the commune cannot... They're at 37%. They still, yeah, and that's actually without even taking Lyon. It'll, it'll... Like, I think without Lyon... They're basically trash? But they don't have any other major cities. All the green army is going to deploy here. You get France down to 32%. I mean, yeah, again, that's a 15 victory point city. It's pretty good. How much is Nantes worth? 10? Okay, we've got German divisions landing over here, which is nice. Green army push away to La Rochelle. It's only worth one victory point, but again, anywhere we can take is good. Winning wars is good for you. Okay, America will take a, a non-aggression pact. You are in the Entente now. Yeah, not that it really matters at all. Yes, yeah, so move your way up north. La Mans is worth one victory point. Again, it's it's not like anything, but I will still definitely take it. Like, it's really guarded by one single light tank, and they can't do it. A singular light tank division. Okay, yeah, blue army, I want you going this direction. Get done what you can. France is at 25. So, yeah, I think if Lyon does fall... Okay, now they put more units there. My British of Lyon falls, that definitely will secure us the victory. And, like, again, like, it's... it's it's an inevitability, right? Like, it's, it's, we're, we can't lose. It's, and we're, we can't do anything against Japan. Again, it's, it's just not viable for us. Wait, they actually gave a Lash Orda? Kiva? Okay. I don't think I've ever seen these boards before, so you know. See something new every game. Always a fun experience. Yeah, we are getting some of our runs. Now down to 24%. Haven't taken... Are you... Wait. So we got the King of Italy, the Italian Federation. What are you guys doing? Can you do anything to form a faction? No. At least not right now. You now officially join up with the Austrians. And with that, the Internationale has come crumbling down. So... Um, we're going to go for the Canadians. We're going to give them all the Union of Britain. Even though, like, even the game's like, they should not have that. Due to the agreement at the Halifax Conference, it would make sense for us to honor our obligations. Also, technically, I'm supposed to be, like, a puppet state. I don't have any actual power here. Germany is going to get this territory here. Again, I don't know what, um, our allies are going to do with it. You don't really... Okay, none of those territories actually make sense for you to take. Spain? You can have some border regions. Congratulations to you. Um, I'm looking for... Belgium's not in our faction. Right, I keep forgetting... I keep forgetting Belgium's not in our faction. And I guess the rest of the... T apparently this one's to the Italian Federation for... Some reason. Okay, cool. I don't... I don't know. The rest of it will just go to the French Republic. Even though, again, the game's like, are you sure you want to give them that land? They don't actually deserve it. What the hell are these borders? The hell is this? Yeah, no, th that that's your that's that's too much, right? At the very least, give it to the King of Italy. There you go. That makes more sense than what the hell the Italian Federation thinks that they were doing. So you should at some point join Middle Europa. I believe you might be forced to do it based on, um... I 
research radio detection. No, they could theoretically declare war on us, but I doubt that would happen. But with that, the defeat of the Russians, the defeat of the Internationale, ignore that. Just, just pretend that's not real. This is probably going to be a good time for us to end this episode and, in fact, end this series. So thanks, everybody, for watching my answer. If you enjoyed, bring a thumbs up. Not enjoy, you can always thumb down. Once more, subscribe, and goodbye.